show a uh, proper demo uh, for, this, uh, for the Edge demonstration. So we're using assets uh, borrowed from one of our London teams. Uh, you might recognize them from uh, previous E3s or GDC. Uh, so this environment uh, is uh, all running through Edge geometry uh, before it reaches the RSX. Uh, the object level culling is done by SVU and the uh, edge geometry then takes the triangles and does culling to uh, remove those triangles before the RSX can even get here. So if we uh, pop in some assets, I should also say this scene's running at 720p with anti aliasing So no, we're using fairly standard lightning shading, uh, using uh, shadow maps to integrate the proper shadows with the environment shadows. The animation you can see, if I just switch to the idle anim, that's using four idle animations. Uh, blended differently for each character. Uh, going into the walk cycle, we've got a 20 animation set. Uh, these are being blended using the edge animation blend tree uh, with up to 12 active at any one time. So I can show these are uh, being used by uh, moving into a run cycle and also blending an aim animation over the top. You can see it, each character is at a slightly different place in the run cycle to show that we're not cheating. Interestingly, the, the, the full blank tree is being constructed on SPU in this case, so that takes the, the pyramid that Mark did earlier, uh, and we're doing every stage of that pyramid on SPU. So the only inputs are the pad input, we're doing the game logic, blank tree construction, then subsequent job takes that blank tree and does the animation processing to produce a hierarchy. Once we have the hierarchy, a separate job uh, uses edge job tree, uses that to skin and then trim all the characters. So let's add uh, a few more assets into the scene to show the scalability of uh, the edge libraries. So now we've scaled up from four characters to 768, and we've added 50 more cards. Uh, as you can see, uh, Edge is still animating each character independently. Uh, I can prove that by introducing a random offset to each character to show a completely different blend tree on each asset. And again, every triangle that you're seeing here is going through Edge geometry. Uh, we're, we're doing about 1.4 uh, million triangles uh, uh, that come out of edge geometry per frame. So I'm going to show something we don't normally show, uh, which is the profile bars for this particular scene. And now we can see at the front here that the cyan block is the uh, small jobs that do all of the logic to build the blend tree for the animations in the scene. Uh, the next blue block is uh, the edge animation processing that takes the blend tree and produces the final hierarchy. And you can see some other jobs interleave there. That's because this first job is scheduling uh, some rendering tasks uh, while we're animating. So that by the time animation and all the culling is finished, we can go ahead and hit all the geometry jobs without having to wait. And then the final block there is uh, the edge geometry processing for every single mesh in the scene. So that's environment, characters, character shadows, uh, environment shadows, uh, all, in the, all in the same job type. And uh, that's basically the end of the demo. Uh, so uh, I'd like to say that Edge was uh, very easy to use. So we did this demo uh, in our group with two programmers and one artist uh, in two weeks. Uh, and that's the end of my uh, demonstration.